Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly fix your iPad if it's frozen, stuck, unresponsive, and won't restart or you can't swipe or touch at all. You want to follow this step. So if you have an iPad that's all screen here, first thing is you're going to locate these three buttons, which is going to be volume up, volume down, and then this touch ID or the power button. So you're going to press and release the volume up quickly and then press and release the volume down quickly and then hold this touch ID or the power button until the screen goes completely black. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold this side button. And for this method, since your touch isn't working or it's not responsive, you don't have to touch the screen. Just keep on holding. Again, that, as you can see here, that touch ID or the power button until it goes completely black. And once you see the Apple logo up here, we let go of that button. And this is known as a forced restart, which will solve most software related issue when it comes to screen not working, it's being frozen, unresponsive, or simply glitching. You're gonna wanna do this. This method is completely safe and will not delete any of your personal data. And once you're back on, you should be working and ready to go. Now, if you have an older iPad that does have actual home button, it's gonna work slightly different. You're going to locate the power button up top and the home button itself right and you're going to press these two buttons at the same time until again the same thing happens or the screen goes completely black so you can see here i'm going to hold again the power button and then the home button at the same time just keep on pressing and holding it just like that it can take up to 10 seconds or so before you see the screen goes completely black and once you see the apple logo appear you let go of both of the home button and the top power button and again, it will restart the iPad normally it, like it would. Again, this method does not delete any of your personal data. And after doing that, your iPad should be up and running and you should be able to get to go just like that. So I hope this quick video was helpful. So please do consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.